If curly stubble males are mated to curly stubble females, some of the offspring of the next generation will be curly and stubble, some will be just curly, some will be just stubble, and some will have neither phenotype. If we focus on those which are expressing either curly or stubble, one would see whether either of these phenotypes would also have a red body color because if the red body color mutation is homozygous recessive, a fly must possess two chromosomes expressing the mutant allele to have the red body color. If some of the stubble flies express the red body color, but none of the curly flies express the red body color, then we would have mapped the new mutation to chromosome two because the stubble mutation on chromosome 3 does not affect the expression of this red body color mutation on chromosome 2, but it would be impossible for a fly to possess the two needed chromosomes with the mutation for the body color and an additional chromosome 2 with the curly gene. And so we would have mapped the gene to chromosome 2 because in this generation we observe some stubble flies with the red body color mutation but no curly flies with the mutation.